Two eggs fit perfectly in there. I have to make some. Yeah, we still got it. Effie, fun. Another rainy day. It is another rainy day. I got a red one. Oh, there's another red one. There were cardinals and blue jays out here like crazy, and it was so pretty because there was like red and blue everywhere. Thank you, three today. Yeah. Okay, y'all, it is Sunday afternoon. We are about to fold this laundry. My dryer, as of right now, still messed up. The part is supposed to be here tomorrow. I'm just not sure what time tomorrow, so I may have to go to the laundromat one more time, or Jacob and Tyler might go for me one more time if they want to. <laughs> they don't mind going for me because there's lots of fun little stores and stuff around the laundromat, so they take turns sitting with the clothes and looking around. There's also a coffee shop and a beef jerky store. So yeah, I don't know what time it's gonna get here tomorrow. I think it's coming through FedEx. It could be like seven o'clock tomorrow night before they deliver it for real. So I'm thinking I'll wash a couple more loads. I have a load going right now, but it's stuff that I can just, you know, hang around and it'll dry pretty quick if I need to. But I think I might go ahead and wash up some more and we'll go one more time. That way, if it doesn't get here until late tomorrow, you know, it'll be Tuesday again before I can wash any or late Monday evening so yeah i think we'll go ahead and get them all washed and dried up again so what i've been doing is just washing them all here and then just going to dry them at the laundromat which surprisingly i've stayed caught up on laundry more since the dryer has not been working than i do when the dryer is working <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's because you just get, you're like, I have to get more organized because we have this extra step now of having to go to the laundromat to dry them, and so just make it happen. I usually just throw all the socks in a basket. Well, y'all seen that big basket of socks we had back around Christmas time, and then we just, it's like a sock party. You just sit them all out and everybody finds the matches. It's a nappy kind of day, but I am not taking a nap. Everybody just found something for lunch today, and we already got the kitchen cleaned up. When I get these clothes folded, I'm gonna go ahead and make supper. I'm gonna put some beans in the Instant Pot and we're gonna have barbecue pork chops, beans, mashed potatoes, and biscuits. I should be able to have that done between three and four. Is Jonna taking a nap, Cece? Yeah. Let's see, I think we'll watch, I forgot to cancel my 30 day free trial membership thing for Up Faith and Family on YouTube before the 30 days was up and so, we still got it. They still have lots of Christmas movies on here. I mean, I still have my Christmas lights on my stairs, so who am I to talk about them and put on Christmas movies? That's fine. <laughs> oh, what is this Jane Doe show? Titus and the kids have been on a Beverly Hillbillies kick here lately. Oh, Finding Normal. I do like that movie. Do y'all like that movie, Finding Normal? It's an old one. and wash these eggs. One of y'all asked the other day, how long do the eggs stay fresh when they're, you know, if you just leave them out at room temperature, they'll stay fresh for about two weeks. Some people say more than two weeks, but I have had one go bad and it was like two and a half weeks. These eggs came off the bottom of the tray over there. I have a little rotation system. The bottom ones are the older eggs and on top is where I put the fresh, fresh ones, the newer ones. So I'm just now washing them because if you wash them, you have to refrigerate them. Unwashed, they can stay fresh for about two weeks at room temperature, but when you wash them, you wash off the bloom. It's like a little protective covering on there. Now I have 13 here because this one, is this the one? Yeah, I accidentally cracked this one when I was bringing them over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into a little jar and I'll add it with the eggs in the morning, whatever kind of eggs we make. This one also had a tiny little crack, so we're gonna go ahead and put both of these into this jar. Two eggs fit perfectly in there. So yeah, fresh from the hen, unwashed, they'll last up to two weeks. Now you can take something dry, you know, and just wipe them off, but if you wash them with water and everything, then you need to refrigerate them. Once you get them in the refrigerator, people say different things too. Some people say they'll last a month in the refrigerator, some say three months. I've had some for at least two months in the refrigerator and they were still fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those other ones so I have a full tray. <laughs>
All right, so we got the beans started and I had to make some butter real quick. I forgot to do this last night. We need butter to make our buttermilk biscuits. So we have that ready now. I just put it on this wax paper to shape it so that it just didn't stick off my hands and I was shaping it. This is the big 50 pound bag I was telling y'all about that I got from Ingles the other day. It was only $17, y'all. Five pound bags right now are right at $5. Almost 100 pounds. Almost 100 pounds. It's half a hundred, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're making mashed potatoes tonight. Yeah. One, two. Yeah, don't rip it. Three, four, five, nine, ten. We need one or two more because a couple of those are little. So what have y'all been eating lately? Let me know your favorite thing you had for supper last week. Or breakfast or lunch. <laughs> Manly's up there saying something about forever and ever and ever. Three grandpas about to stand up? What are they <laughs> So we've got two packs of pork chops. I have a pack of boneless and then this pack of bone-in. And I'm just gonna season them with the Sweet Preacher Rub. A lot of y'all ask, where's the Kent Rollins seasoning? We ran out of it, and I just keep forgetting to order some more. It is really good. I just always, I forget. I'm gonna sear them on both sides in the skillet, and then we'll put them on a big pan and put them in the oven. I like to sear them a little bit before I bake them because that'll give them a little bit of a, almost like a grilled look and texture on the outside. So when I get the pork chops all in the pan, I'm just gonna stick them in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes to finish cooking. Then we'll put some barbecue sauce over the top of them. I'm looking for barbecue sauce. I might have to make some. First we put in one and a half cups of ketchup. One cup of brown sugar. A quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and I put a little bit of this Sweet Preacher rub in here, about two teaspoons, and two tablespoons of honey. That's it, now we just mix all this together and we'll just let it simmer while the pork chops are in the oven and then it'll be ready to pour over the top of them. I got some vittles. We've been watching way too much Beverly Hillbillies. I done fixed up a mess of vittles in here. They're out there working on that cow trailer, I hope, or else I just yelled out all of that to nobody. Meanwhile, Jonah's been upstairs making a model of the solar system. This is great. Dancing washing machine. Yeah. 